Hi guys! In this tutorial we are going to use Tinkercad circuits to create an Arduino simulation using breadboard, Arduino board and three LED lights and not only are we going to make the lights turn on we're also going to program some patterns using code similar to what we use in Scratch 3.0 as well as mBlock which has also been derived from Scratch 3.0. Without further ado, let's go to the app. So the URL is tinkercad.com, T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D.com. And once you're in, click on sign in on the top right corner, and we're going to use a personal account. So click on that, and I'm going to sign in with my Google account. I'm actually signed in with a school Google account already, so Anyway, click on that, and once you are in and it gets through the SSO, uh, you should see this. Now, on the left-hand side, click on Circuits. This is Tinkercad Circuits. You can see we have some uh, circuit diagrams and simulations already in place. We are going to create a new circuit, so we click on this button, and then this is what we get. So. Uh, on the right hand side we have all of the electronic components, so from resistors, LEDs, push buttons and so forth. Now we are going to create an Arduino simulation, so we need the Arduino Uno R3 board. By the way, if you want to have more components, just click down to all and you have more components, but we just want the basic ones. So grab your Arduino board, get your breadboard, and now we want to start connecting some LEDs. So, well, let's get the LEDs out first. So let's, right, we've got three LEDs right there. Now, if I use my uh, mouse scroll wheel, I can zoom in. So we've got three LEDs. If you want to distinguish the uh, anode and the cathode legs, so the bent leg is the anode, which is for positive, and the short leg is cathode, that's the straight leg, and that's the negative. So. Also, if you want to change the color of the lights, just click on the light. This will appear and you can change the color accordingly. Right, just like that. And now we're going to zoom out and we're going to connect to this board. So let's start with the five volt. So we can connect that to the positive rail. You can also change the color of the wire at the top. I tend to use red for positive and black for negative uh, as a habit. So now the negative rail connects to the ground. And uh, you can also change the wire type as well, but I'm just going to stick with the normal wire. Uh, just uh, fix up the color a little bit. Now let's take the light. Now you can plug it into any one of these all right, hang on, let's... All right, you can plug it into any one of these holes, it should not be a problem. And also get your resistor, because we don't want these things exploding. And by the way, for the resistor, uh, I better bring that up here. So if we get the resistor, click on it, you can change the resistance here. So right now it's one kilo ohm. It's a high resistance, it just means the LED is going to be a little dim. So we want it to be a little moderate, so let's make it 220 ohm. Small resistance, bright light, but it's not going to explode. Right, so we, and you can copy this as well. Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V. Now you've got three copies of the resistor. Now, um, just to make sure that this circuit is working, let's plug... All right, let's plug the cathode right into the ground, the negative rail, and let's plug this into the positive. So we put these all into a circuit just to make sure that it's working. And as a habit, we can change the color of the wire. The color of the wire is just to help you. All the wires are pretty much the same. The color is just to help you distinguish, um, you know, certain types of connectivity. Okay, anyway, if you want to plug that in, and I'm going to minimize that, if you want to plug this in, you press start simulation and all the lights turn on. Okay, just like that. All the lights turn on. Now that's, that's well and truly dandy, but we would like to be able to program these lights. So what we are going to do is on the top here, you can see code. 
we have a code editor, and it looks very similar to what you'd see in Scratch 3.0 or mBlock. So it uses block programming. Uh, I have to mention that anything that any code that you put in here is automatically in a forever loop. So if you're wondering, if you go to control, why is there no forever loop block? Why is there only repeat, repeat while, and so forth? Well, the reason, anything you put in here is already in a forever loop. Right. Now, at the moment, that code will make the uh, built-in LED turn on. It will make the built-in LED turn on. Okay. Now if we take this out, right, the LED is not on because we've just eliminated the code. Now, uh, I'm going to minimize that. So just click on that again so we have more space to work. Let's click on the wire and delete it. And what we're going to do is we want to connect each of the wires, each anode, to a certain digital pin on the Arduino Uno board. So let's say we're going to have the red light on 5. We're going to have the yellow light, just like that. Just click, click, click on 6. And last but not least, we'll have the green light on 7. Just make sure you plug it into any of these digital pins. Remember which ones you plug into, because you're going to need that for the code. Now, I'm going to use a red wire. I'd like to use a yellow wire for the yellow light and a green wire for the green light. So it's a bit more consistent. Also, I think it would be good to give your project a name. So up here, change the name to, just call it whatever you like, My LED Program. Okay, just like that. Just click on it, rename it, and it's done. And now let's go to code. By the way, because of the fact we haven't got anything connected to this positive rail, you actually don't need, you don't really need to have this wire, so you can just eliminate it. Okay? You don't really need it, since all of these are connected to the digital pin. All right. Now, let's get cracking. So let's go to code. So what we do, now these are output devices, these LEDs, and we would like to, let's give it a test and see what happens. So we're going to set the pin, All right, let's make it bigger so you can see it. We're going to set pin five, let's turn the red on. Pin five is going to be high, now let's run that. Okay, so pin five is on, so that means the red light will turn on. Now, if we want the other light to turn on, let's go to pin six, so red and yellow will now turn on. And now remember, before you start changing code, remember to press stop simulation. Okay. By the way, when you press start simulation, it plugs the uh, USB wire like, into the port, and when you press stop, it just takes it out. So it's a simulation, remember. So now let's go for pin number seven. So all three of them will now turn on. And of course, you can customize it. So let's say you want high, low, high. That means yellow will be off, and the other two will be on, just like that. Now let's, uh, let's modify it slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pattern. So I'm going to have one light turn on for one second and then do the next light and the next light and it just loops. So what we do is we take this and just copy it twice. So it's high, low, 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 high, low, 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 high, or whatever combination you see fit, just go for it. Okay, now, there we go. So there's the pattern. Let's run the simulation and see what happens. Oh, hang on, we have a problem here. Uh, let's see, let's try that. And why did it do that? Mm. Well, let's give that a try, okay. Right. In programming, you're bound to find mistakes. That's fine. All right, so now that, that's what you want. So red light turns on, and then yellow light turns on. Let's press stop. 
and just copy that. If, so if something goes wrong, just delete the blocks, start a little smaller, and then just work backwards, and then you'll, eventually you'll, you'll crack it, you'll, you'll do it in the end. So now, this is what we should have. So now, red, yellow, green for one second, and then it goes back to red, yellow, green, so it's looping this code over and over again. Okay. Now, if you want to speed this up a bit, you can increase the, well, or decrease the wait time. So instead of one second, have a 0.1, so a tenth of a second, and just run it. And now it's a lot faster, just like that. Uh, going a little further, if you want, if you don't want to keep changing these numbers over and over, maybe you want to use variables. So with variable, we go to here, we click create variable and call it wait underscore time underscore milliseconds. Okay. Right now it's seconds, but I'm going to change that to milliseconds. And what we do is we just add this at the top. But we also want to put this, we want to pass the number from the variable into here. So we don't have to keep adding that number every time. We just change one number, it automatically changes the wait time for each one of these uh, light patterns in between. Right, so now uh, one thousand milliseconds is equal to one second so let's try that let's run the simulation okay so one second yep that's good let's uh, make that a tenth of a second in other words a hundred milliseconds and there we go much better let's try a hundredth of a second so 10 milliseconds yeah it's very fast you can barely notice anything so we'll just stick with a hundred Or maybe, uh, let's try 200. Yeah, it's a little better, a little moderate. You can uh, maybe play around with the pattern a bit. So high, low, high, low, low, high. Or, or low, high, low. Or high, high, low. Whatever you like, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's your program anyways. So there we go. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, the save is automatic as well. Every time you make a change, it saves the program automatically. And when you're done, you just press the stop simulation. And if you click on the Tinkercad logo, it will take you back to the dashboard uh, where you have all of your circuit uh, programs. So there we go, guys. So give that a try and uh, good luck. And we'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.